hello so let's look at basics today uh, so we start off with variables and we look at some of the values that the variables can have um, then finally we look at a little bit collections of uh, values um, which is lists and dictionaries so we'll use rhino python we can use the interactive shell but for python to for this section but we use the uh, rhino python to become familiar so variable is nothing but a placeholder which can have which can hold a value so here the placeholder is on the left hand side of the equality sign equal to sign um, so a is the variable or the placeholder and the value of a is 32 okay so if we print a we should get 32 uh, so we get 32 now we can do we can do a is equal to a plus 32 again so that will give us a is equal to 64 uh, and there's a shorthand for writing this a is equal to a plus 32 so we can just write a plus is equal to 32 so that's the same as a is equal to a plus 32 right so we have this we can have another variable which says b plus b is equal to a say into 2 so now the value of b will be 128 uh, because the value of a at this point is 64 so 64 into 2, 128 so we print b uh, so to debug we can press this run sign or we can just hit f5 uh, both of them are the same so we get 122 uh, sorry 128 um, now say that we have b is equal to a into 2 and later on after declaring the value of b using a we declare uh, the value of variable a as 32 now here because the compiler goes step by step or one statement after another uh, when it evaluates b is equal to a into 2 it's looking at a but it but the value of a is not defined so the number 2 is uh, is a constant and the compiler knows what 2 is doing but the compiler doesn't know what a is and if we don't have quotation marks around a letter then the compiler thinks of the letter as a variable okay so if we do this we will get an error saying that a is undefined and you can see that a is not defined um, so at this point if we have a is equal to 32 before and then we have b is equal to a into 2 and we print the value of b and then because in line number 3 the value of a is 32 it, the, the result of b is equal to a into 2 will be 64 um, the fact that we add 32 to a after uh, the variable b is declared or initialized um, that doesn't change the value of b okay so so the value of b will be 64 here mm, suppose this a was in quotation marks like this then the compiler will not treat the value of b uh, sorry the compiler will not treat this entity within quotation marks as the variable a so this is just a string or a character and what it will do is it will multiply a two times or concatenate a so if you have five then it will print five print a five times okay so if you remove the quotation marks uh, single quotation mark now the compiler will know that this variable a is equal to the variable on line two okay so 32 into 5 which is 160 uh, next we we look at say let's look at a list okay let's look at the values that a variable can have so a variable can have an integer a variable can have uh, decimal places a variable can have 
uh, text uh, and to, to mark the text we use quotation marks always uh, then finally we can have a true or false value so boolean value uh, so we can also have single or double quotes so text to this all of this will work so if we if we print all of them so a comma b comma c sorry c comma d comma e it should print all the values correctly and it does that okay so we can have these kinds of values here and then next let's look at collections of values so the first one is a list so this is a list uh, the square bracket marks the list the hash means that rest of the line that is on the right hand side of the hash is not evaluated by the compiler so this list here is not evaluated by the compiler and it only extends up to the extent of the line uh, so if you can do b is equal to let's say one two three one two four so you can see that the compiler is actually treating this so we can print b and it will work uh, we can also do something like b into three and it will concatenate the b three times it's not going to multiply b by three the values of b by three it's just adding uh, b back to itself three times okay so don't make that mistake uh, so let's say we wanted to comment out this line uh, and let's say multiple lines so for example we wanted to comment out all of this multi-line comment uh, with the triple quotation marks surrounding the 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 lines that we want to comment out um, okay so the lines one to six will not be evaluated by the compiler and next we move on to initializing the variable so initializing the the list is we can do it straight away by having empty brackets and then we can append to the variable a say one uh, two and then three so now if you print out a it will give us one two three uh, so if we if we already know these values that we want to have in the list we can directly add them as one two three as comma separated values within square brackets so this is a valid initialization and frequently used in python we can also have various types of values in python in a list so we have an integer we have a double or a, sorry not a it's a float probably uh, then we can have a text we can also have true or false values uh, so you can see that it's 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 allowed various types of values are allowed in a list in python uh, next we can look at a dictionary okay let's look at uh, one more thing here before we move on to dictionary let's say we have a equal to all of these then we can also have within a within a we can have um, another array one comma two comma four uh, and it it works now say how are these suppose we wanted to extract this some value uh, from a how does that work so when we say that a is a list we can access the values of a uh, by something called index so one here is considered to be at index zero so the index index of a starts at zero and it goes from zero one two three and four so four is the internal or the nested list the list within a list true is at zero one two three 
the third value is true uh, and the second value is the text so if we put if you want if we print the second index of a like this so a and square brackets 2 then we should get text uh, suppose we want to print 2 here then we get so then we need to access the fourth index of a and in that we need to access the first index of 2 because 1 in this list uh, is at the 0 index okay so a of 4 will give us the entire array let's just quickly see that and then to get Two, we need the first index of that array so we get two so, so that's the list in in rhino python or python in general uh, what about dictionary so next let's look at dictionary let me just clear out all of this so a is equal to i could have just done a control a delete but anyway so suppose we have we want to declare a dictionary Dictionary is nothing but a key value pair. It's really useful when you're when you are working with JSON. It's a common data type. Uh, so A is equal to curly braces. That means A is a dictionary. Now you can say A of A is equal to 23. And this will work. Uh, suppose we print we want to print out this value then we say a so let's print just a the variable a and we see that the value of a is 23 okay so let's say we want to print the eighth index of a then we get 23 here like this uh, so we can so in so in dictionaries we don't append to a value we just put the cross uh, sorry the square bracket with the index uh, specifically defined as maybe a text or a number and uh, we just say that uh, and then we declare the value so we can have once again just like in list uh, we can have various types of values here a b c uh, this can be true and yeah this doesn't have to be in sequence this can be anything this can be anything uh, and we should still get this value okay so that's a dictionary in python okay so we'll look at conditional statements and functions next thanks